Well, gun violence has been surging in the North Sound, especially in the city of Everett. Investigators are now working overtime, and the number of victims continues to climb. Fox 13's Zach Anders is in Everett tonight with more. Zach, it has been a violent last day. Yeah, exactly. Four separate shootings here in 24 hours. That's the level of violence Everett is dealing with right now. And police leaders have asked for the public's help, of course, and for their patience as they try and make progress. But no member of our community, no member of any community in Washington state should ever feel unsafe going out in public, right? And, and when I hear that as the chief, uh, I take it personal. Wednesday's gun violence, a symptom of the broader crisis. One dead, four hurt, and it was already a busy night. They made three arrests and took four guns uh, off the street, including a, a stolen firearm, and that was just last night. Despite this, still no arrests made in connection to those shootings. Detectives say they're spread thin across multiple investigations. And I think that some of the violence that we see can certainly be attributed to, to gang violence. To what degree, that's, that's the real question. In August, Everett joined the Linwood Police Department's Snohomish County Prosecutors and Sheriff's Office, plus the FBI, to create a regional violent crime reduction unit because 2022 had already seen what they called a notable increase in gun crime. The team has recovered a lot of guns. They've made a lot of arrests. I think that they've prevented additional shootings that we would have had in our community had they not been in, in place. We're still waiting on this year's official numbers, but it looks as though gun violence is still trending up. There was 35 shots fired calls in 2020 and then 50 in 2021. We need our community, the support from our community, the help and the assistance from our community. And when they see something, to say something and speak out. A big part of this in Everett is just the guns. Police say they see so many on the streets these days. That's why this Saturday they're going to host a Guns for Gift Cards uh, buyback program. And Chief Templeman says that might not seem like it would make a big dent, but that he knows without a doubt that every gun that is turned in will never be used in a violent crime and that that alone is worth it. Reporting from Everett tonight, Zach Anders, Fox 13 News. Thank you, Zach. And Everett Mayor Cassie Franklin gave us a statement. It says in part, quote, my heart goes out to the victims of this recent senseless gun violence in our city. Public safety is and has been one of my top priorities as mayor. I remain committed to supporting the Everett Police Department's very important work addressing violent and gun-related crime.